So there's a dude out there named Pastor Greg Locke, and this guy is down to be on the more radical side of history. Let's just check out some of this guy's absolutely godly tweets. I don't care if you think I'm hashtag too far right. I can assure you that I will never be hashtag too far left. We are one election away from destroying this great nation. I won't be silent. Pussy! I'm hashtag still with cap trying to pull this mess in a Muslim country. This is America. Stand up or get out. Bless Donald J. Trump right this very moment and may God bless America, protect him, bless him, heal this nation in Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. Amen. So basically, Pastor Locke is one of those tool bags who uses religion as an avenue to be homophobic, racist, and abusive. All in the name of our Lord and Savior, baby Jesus Christ. He was a man. He had a beard. Look, I like the baby version the best. Do you hear me? I win the races and I get the money. In an article written in The Friendly Atheist, they detail that he's also someone who has equated homosexuality to bestiality and pedophilia, gone on anti-transgender tirades, and even urged kids to fail in school if they have to learn about the basics of Islam. So basically, this man is not very tolerant of other ideas different from his own, especially when it comes to other religions and more specifically, the LGBTQ community. It's one thing to disagree with or even not like a group of people, but to outwardly attack others just because because their lifestyle choice is different than yours is just stupid. People have all sorts of beliefs for all sorts of reasons like race, gender, age, religion, level of wealth, where you're from, and the list goes on and on and on. This is why I personally don't take offense when someone has a different opinion than I do, because usually I can see where they're coming from based on who they are. He's also going to take away the tax-exempt status of churches that oppose same-sex marriage. Well, hear me well, Skippy. You'll not be doing any such thing. In the case of Pastor Locke, though, his opinions oftentimes are just downright ignorant, and in general, he seems like an almost evil person. So I really can't rock with that. On top of his frequent elitist tweeting, his wife actually came out months after the divorce to detail accounts of both physical and mental abuse that she endured during her marriage with the pastor. There's thousands of texts where you can see Pastor Locke being very manipulative and just downright vicious towards his now ex-wife. I guess that's how it has to be. I wanted to be back here by noon, but I don't even care at this point. Well, thank you for working with me. Don't get used to it. You'll be sleeping with strangers in a month. Buck Wild is in your future, and you're the only one who can't see it. No response? F you, Melissa. I got a tattoo on my arm. Enjoy your new haircut. You've probably already done it. Send that one to Mr. Fast, you deceitful b I have not sent this text to anybody, Greg. Good grief, that was so reckless. He just picked me up, I had to stay and they asked a bunch of questions. Why would that matter to you anyhow? You don't care about me anymore. Whatever, I also don't want you to be raped and killed. I'll be finished soon. Today broke my heart, but I can't do this anymore. Your hair pissed me off so bad I could barely look at you. You look just like your mom. And for your own good, don't go back to the way you were. I could see already that you started putting the weight back on. Don't waste $10,000 because you're mad. Today show me that there is no path going back. Now, is that really how a man of God would speak to his wife? This all screams alcoholic, divisive, misogynistic abuser to me. And just to think, he's the one preaching the apparent word of the Lord to children. This is supposed to be viewed as a role model of a good Christian man to a lot of people. And in the very same article they revealed, the hitting took place during Greg's tenure as the pastor of Global Vision Church. Pastor Greg Locke hit his wife. Melissa also shared that Greg had spit in her face during the previous summer and broken her phone as she tried to calm him down during a fit of rage. Her busted phone was actually church issued. In Greg Locke, Global Vision Bible Church has a pastor who abuses both church property, a phone, and God's property, his wife. Now more recently, the pastor has decided to come out on TikTok of all platforms and scream into his phone about his opinions on Chick-fil-A's decision to stop supporting the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and the Salvation Army due to their anti-LGBTQ stances they've taken in the past. And now it seems 60 years of homophobia wasn't enough for this lunatic, so he's taken to the streets to share his opinion, most likely the country roads. Hey guys, Pastor Greg Locke here. I gotta be honest, I never thought I would be disappointed in Chick-fil-A having now back bow down to the politically correct nonsense of our day. I just love how this idiot drove all the way to Chick-fil-A to rant about how much he hates Chick-fil-A. Also, Pastor Locke, do you realize that Chick-fil-A is a fast food place? Like, it's really not that deep, dude. And if you took a shot every time he called out Chick-fil-A by name like there's some sort of person, you would be pretty damn drunk. 
Chick-fil-A says they will not give money, large amounts of money, to organizations such as Fellowship of Christian Athletes and the Salvation Army because they're critical of the LGBTQ lifestyle. Are you kidding me? These are two of the most grand, glorious ministries and organizations on the face of the earth. Honestly, these days, the Salvation Army is nothing more than an overpriced hub for hipsters and eBay resellers. Listen, they aren't even as good as helping people at Goodwill who at least provides jobs for people with special needs or maybe even someone who needs a second chance, all while donating more every single year to help out those in need financially than the Salvation Army. And at the end of the day, much like a church, the Salvation Army is out to make money, point blank period. You said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. Also, everyone I knew in high school who was in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes was just about as big of a pretentious, pompous douchebag as you are, Twinkle Toes. He goes on to say that the owner of Chick-fil-A would have been rolling over in his grave if he was alive to hear this news. Like he knew him so well, like he had tea and crumpets with the old f every weekend. Honestly, who cares if he rolls over in his grave? Just because the dude knew how to make a badass chicken sandwich and had a good business plan doesn't exactly mean his ideas and values are going to translate well over 60 years later. All I'm saying is they never put macaroni on the menu until this f***er died. What are you going to do next? Open up on Sunday? You have a loyal base of customers because of family values and high standards of morality. I think we can all agree that Chick-fil-A being open on Sunday would be an absolutely amazing change. I would really like to know what your weekend activity consists of. I can really just almost smell the booze on your breath now. And for a pastor, this guy really speaks like he has the intellect of an acorn. He's moving his head around like Bobby Boucher so much when he talks that I can't even focus on the idiotic droning coming out of his mouth. And you're just gonna roll over because of bullies? Who's the bully now? Look, Chick-fil-A, grow some nuggets and stand up. He really thought he did something with that grow some nuggets line, right? Corny mother and I like how he says who's the bully now when he's the one who literally abused his own wife. Marriage is something that's supposed to be seen as sacred in the church and he sure did a good job of pissing all over his. Overall, this guy is just a huge clown for caring about this Chick-fil-A news this much in general. And anyone who gets angry over someone's choice of lifestyle that doesn't affect their life in the slightest is likely just jealous and having some serious FOMO. Just be you, Pastor. You don't gotta be a self-hater, my boy. We know you take it up that holy hole of all holes, sir. I think that's why you were so angry at your wife the whole time is because you wish you could be kissing another man. This is not a man of God at all. He's really just a sad representative using the Bible to create more evil in this world. But what do you guys think about Pastor Locke? Do you think he's as crazy as I do? If you do, please drop a like on the video. Please share it with your friends. Subscribe today and go follow me on Instagram. That's at Jamari Speaks. 150 cookies are in the mail on the way. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. There's someone out here who needs to get roasted, so I'm out. It's the Tan Superman. Peace.